Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, February 22nd, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ThreatPost, the Drupal Open Source Content Management System has issued an advisory for a highly critical remote code execution flaw in the Drupal core. This could impact millions of websites. See the ThreatPost article for details about which Drupal versions are affected. From ZDNet, the Microsoft Security Response Center published a security advisory about a denial-of-service issue impacting their web server technology. There are circumstances in which Internet Information Services processing HTTP2 requests can cause CPU usage to spike to 100%, effectively blocking, or at least slowing down, the entire system. From ThreatPost, a week after Adobe fixed a critical zero-day vulnerability in its Acrobat reader, the company issued another patch after a researcher dug up a way to bypass the original fix. The zero-day in Adobe Reader enabled bad actors to steal victims' hashed passwords, Make sure to patch your patch, kids. From ZDNet, Cisco has published 15 security updates for its products. Of those 15 updates, two vulnerabilities allow attackers to gain root access on the device, while a third bypassed authentication altogether. Go to ZDNet or Cisco for the full list and patch information. And last this week, from SC Magazine, personal health information for 974,000 University of Washington medicine patients were exposed for most of December 2018 due to a misconfigured database. Fortunately, those records did not contain patient financial information or social security numbers. The issue has been corrected, and UW is working with Google to remove any cached information that it may have retained. And that's all for me this week. Have a great Oscars weekend. I still don't understand Roma as best picture. And until Monday, be safe out there.